The last unbeaten has fallen, by the way. So that sound you hear is the champagne corks being popped down there in Miami as the Dolphins, the 72 Dolphins, remain safe for another year. What's the number one takeaway from this game for you? Russell Wilson. I mean, look, we know that he had the critical interception that could have gave San Fran a uh, missed field goal. But when you look at this team, right, and when Jaron Reed and Jadavian Clowney was rush is rushing the passer like they are, I don't think there's anybody better, D. Yeah. I don't, like, I, I'm more confident in Russell Wilson being my quarterback than anybody in the NFL right and now. And I want to take that and go, they won because they had the two best players on the field. Mm. Like, it was Russell Wilson and Clowney. They were the best players on the field last night. And I think that there was a little bit of Seattle's defensive line maybe being sick and tired of hearing the 49ers talk <laughs> about. But Russell Wilson, when they needed him to have his best plays, he showed up, as usual. Like, he's... He never lets us down as fans of football that there's a play that needs to be made. Russell Wilson is going to make it. And, yes, there were some breaks that they, that they got their way, but he took advantage of them. And all the scrambles outside of the pocket, throwing the football to the right place. It, it's it's we, Lamar Jackson and him are in this heavyweight bout for the MVP. And last night he was on the center stage versus the best defense in football. And he answered me. It's it's. He's incredible to watch. And so the top of the NFC is just flat out loaded. And mm -hmm. we can talk a little bit later in the show about who we like there. But the question is, if you're looking at the 49ers who are unbeaten going in and have a kick in the air that would win the game to stay that way, are we confident that their quarterback, when, we, when the, these games start, get to the end and it really matters and they're looking at Drew Brees and Aaron Rodgers and Russell and all these guys, are you confident Jimmy G can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with those guys? No, G. And that's been my apprehension with the San Francisco 49ers since the beginning of the season. Are they a very good team? Absolutely. Are they a contender? Absolutely. But we saw in this situation, look, we'll talk about the conversions that Jimmy G made at, down at the end of the game, but people... There was two interceptions that the Seahawks should have ended this game on. Mm -hmm. That Jimmy G looked nervous. He looked like he wasn't ready for the moment. And he was afraid to go out and make a play. H had one, in one interception in each linebacker's hands that they just absolutely dropped. So this was the question. Even Last night, Booger and Joe Tess said it. This is the moment everybody's been waiting to see with Jimmy G in this position. And quite frankly, I didn't think he delivered outside of Seattle just not wanting to win the game at yeah, that point. The questions tied to him are only going to be stamped a little bit more after last night. I'll be honest, the drops hurt him, right? Like the drops, there was four or five drops, but there's one play that stood out to me. It's the third down in overtime when they're backed up with like a minute 30 left, it's third and 10, and he takes the shot downfield to Debo Samuel. It's there. The drops were part of it. Yes, like that, that was... The, part of their offense struggling last night. But there was a play, there's a moment where he can go make that throw, and if it's thrown the right place to Debo Samuel, it's the play that, sh that Griffin bats away. Yep. If that's thrown a yard further, it's a touchdown. Game over, San Francisco wins the football game. So this is the play right here. Watch. He's beat. That's beat in the NFL. You throw that ball in that moment as the star quarterback of an undefeated football team, and you answer all the questions. You underthrow it, and the questions are going to remain. So that's where we wake up on this morning with the week in the NFL finally officially behind us, a thriller on the Monday night and a jam-packed now top of the NFC West with Seattle moving a game out with a win in hand and a jam-packed top of the NFC in general. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.